Listen. Egbomi. The great apostle Babalola. Apostle the Babalola. Went to preach the gospel in a demonic town. And he went to the king in the place to ask for a land to build the church. The king, who was also a demonic person, because our forefathers had a lot of demonic satanic intelligence the king who was not interested in the gospel who is also practically a demon in his own right he gave the man of God the forbidden bush the forbidden bush a bush where nobody goes when pregnant women die they throw them there when people with familiar spirit die they throw them there nobody goes there those who have ventured to go in they did not last 24 hours before they died that was the place the king gave to the man of God. The man of God thanked the king profusely. While the king was just looking at him. <laughs> Thanking us. And the man went, the man of God went out. Took his prayer warriors. And they went to this bush. When they got there, the man of God began to pray. Pray. Some of those who were there that day with cutlass to cut the bush. Some, some of those. They, were, they are still alive. They told us what I'm telling you now. That as they got there, the man of God rang his bell. And with a very loud voice. Because the man has a loud voice. Because in their days, there were no microphones. And they addressed thousands of people. With a loud voice. He just said, Oh God, arise! Let your enemies in this bush be scattered. That was all he said. They said they had, they had people running. <laughs> Legs of people running. <laughs> they were running. They were colliding on each other. They felt that people were falling and rising up. Confusion inside the bush. Some were jamming themselves into the trees. But he said they never saw anybody. But they had the sand of this scattering and pray for somebody here your prayer today shall release confusion into the camp of your enemy in the name of Jesus so the prayer of oh God arise releases confusion into the camp of the enemy because he scatters them they will run enter scatter even if you are not careful you that you call the prayer if you don't clear out of the way in their confusion they may jam you because it's a prayer to scatter they said legs were running after some time there was a calm and he ordered them to begin to cut the bush as they were cutting the bush from the mountains they saw a mighty python crawling down those cutting the grasses wanted to run away. Baba said, stay there. Continue to cut your grass. They continue cutting it. And the serpent came. Majestically. Majestically. The kind of python serpent that if they swallow a person, you won't see the person again. Was, and the serpent did not go to any of those guys cutting the grass. 
just went straight to the man of God. Straight, just he knew who he wanted. And he went straight for him. And the man watched the snake coming. He was not impressed at all. And as the snake approached, he just said, Let the fire. Another prayer point now. Different from let God arise. So, let the fire of the God of Elijah fall upon this serpent. And it was as if electricity passed through the serpent. Just dried up. May any serpent ascend against you dry up. They must dry up. They must dry up. In the name of Jesus. Yes.